Hello. It has been a very long morning. This morning I woke up and I was having a hard time breathing. My tracheostomy tube was clogged with mucus. I ran my nebulizer with saline. I went to breakfast and still was having a lot of trouble breathing. I came back to the room and ran my nebulizer with more saline. This time I started coughing up blood. This is not a good sign. It most likely means I probably have an infection either in my trachea or in my lungs. I am very concerned. Thankfully, I did plan for this. I brought along a few things with me. For example, I have these herbs. It's called clear lungs. It helps with any infection or anything like that in your airways. And these are just, just a bunch of Chinese herbs. So I've been taking this. I've also been taking uh, echinacea. This is wonderful. It helps prevent uh, infections from taking root in your respiratory tract. It makes your respiratory tract very slippery. So bacteria and viruses have a hard time attaching. And also this is vitamin C. It's lipospheric vitamin C. This is a vitamin C that's in a liquid form and you swallow it and it works really really well so i've been taking that also this morning thankfully before leaving i always take antibiotics with me i almost forgot to take them this time however my mom said something to me and i don't even remember what she said but it had nothing to do with antibiotics and i suddenly remembered I didn't take any antibiotics with me. So I packed along two different antibiotics. I took one antibiotic out and I'm starting to take that just in case I do have an infection. We are out at sea today and there's absolutely no way to get medical care. There is a medical facility here on board, but I really don't wanna to go to that if I don't have to because most likely they'll see I have a tracheostomy tube and tell me I need to get off the ship to get medical treatment. So I'm trying very, very hard to try to treat this, treat this early, and hopefully get rid of any infection that I might have. Tomorrow we're going to Cozumel, then we have another day at sea, and then the following day we fly home. So hopefully if I do have an infection, I'm able to stave it off for a couple days and hopefully I can get back to shore. And if this is not an infection, I'll be praising God so much because I'm not feeling that well today. So I'm hoping it was just a ruptured blood vessel and that's all that it was and nothing more, but we will see and I'll continue to take my home remedies as well as the, as, as well as the antibiotics and hopefully I'll be able to mitigate any possible infection and get through this cruise without needing emergency medical care. So that's been a bit of an update. Bye for now. At noon, they had a volleyball game. It was the guests versus the officers. The officers play this game every cruise. Let me say, they were very talented. As hard as the guests tried, the officers won the game. After the volleyball game, they had some great music by the pool. Down at the shops, they had special promotions at many of the stores. People flocked to the shops to get good deals on merchandise. It was hard to move because there were people everywhere. Late in the afternoon, the waves started to grow in intensity. The main pool once again started to splash water all around. It was fun to see the water go back and forth until it made a huge splash and got people wet. The pool in the solarium also had impressive waves as the ship rocked back and forth. This evening, there was a knock on the door. It was our cabin steward. He had in his hands a beautiful bouquet of roses. He said they were for my mom. We have had some minor issues with our room, such as the shower not draining and the refrigerator not working. The cabin steward felt bad and gave us this gorgeous dozen of roses for all our troubles. Good evening. It's day nine and we spent the day at sea. This morning I woke up and I was not feeling very well. My tracheostomy tube was clogged with mucus. 
When I started coughing up the mucus, I noticed there was a lot of blood. Some of it was just pure blood. I was very concerned because this is an indication that I probably have an infection. Since we're at sea, I did not want to go get medical treatment down in the medical facility because it's very likely they would have told me I need to get off the ship and get emergency medical intervention. Instead, I stayed in my room and I have antibiotics I brought with me here on ship. So I started taking the antibiotics. I am happy to report I am feeling much better tonight than I was this morning. I am still not feeling very well, but I am feeling better than I was this morning. So I think the antibiotics are working and I really hope and pray tomorrow I am feeling better than I am tonight. Tonight at the restaurant, it was lobster night. My mom loves lobster. I, however, am allergic to lobster. So I did my daughter duty and I ordered my mom a lobster tail along with my vegetables that I usually eat. Unfortunately, instead of putting the lobster tail on the side, they put the lobster tail right on top of my vegetables. <laughs> I tried eating some of the vegetables that weren't contaminated with the lobster tail, but I ended up not feeling very safe doing this. So I abandoned my plate of vegetables and instead I went up to the buffet and got steamed vegetables up at the buffet. So I am very happy and grateful the buffet has plain steamed vegetables and I was able to get my supper up at the buffet. So tonight I have just been resting. My mom went out to the shows and she's doing some other activities on the ship. I am resting and taking it easy because tomorrow we are in Cozumel, Mexico and I hope and pray I'm feeling well and can enjoy Cozumel. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye bye! Stay tuned to next week. It is day 10 and we are in Cozumel, Mexico. We are nearly in a horrible car accident as we drive away from the cruise port. We visit a water adventure beach park. We see a sea lion show, watch dolphins, and enjoy a delicious lunch. It is quite a day.